Hi, Ms. Jones. Nice to see you again. Hi, Doctor. How are you today? I'm doing great, thanks. Um, now, we have about 15 minutes today, and I want to make sure that we talk about what's important to you. However, I do want to take some time at the beginning to talk about your um, recent lab work. Would that be okay? Oh, definitely. Um, I mean, I guess that's something I should be concerned about with you bringing it up. I knew my blood pressures were going up a little bit, but I didn't know anything else was of a concern. The blood sugars have um, increased some, so you're, you're concerned that things are not as good as they were last time that we talked. Yeah, that's right. I did notice that my morning blood sugars were coming up a little bit. I just didn't realize how serious it was. Right. Well, I, I certainly didn't mean to startle you, but there, there has been a significant increase in your that A1C, that three-month average on your blood uh, sugar. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's gone from... Uh, you, you've been doing so great. We brought it down from over 9 to about 7.5, and now it's kind of bounced back up to 8.4, and I'm wondering um, if you had any ideas as to why that might have happened. Well, you know, I was reading about the... Genuvia that we added and um, read some concerning things on the internet. It might cause uh, pancreatitis and cancer and I just was scared to death of that. So I, I stopped taking my medication. I guess I should have told you about that. Um, telling me would have been great, uh, but that's okay. I mean you had a, a concern about a medication that you'd read some things about and you stopped the medication. I, I think that's a good I think that's a good decision. Wow, I'm glad to know you're not too angry with me. You know, when I, I read that cancer was a possibility, it just terrified me because my mother had died of breast cancer, and I just didn't want any of that. How long ago was that? Oh, it's it's been a little while, but it was a tough process, and I certainly don't want to see myself there. So the concern of cancer was probably the main thing that yes. led you to stop the medication. Well, and you know, too. Sometimes I didn't feel so good when, um, you know, the new medication combined with the metformin that I was on. Sometimes I would be nauseous and just uncomfortable. So you were nauseated, anything else? Oh, sometimes diarrhea. And sometimes the nausea was so bad, even one day I didn't go to work. So quite a bit of nausea, the diarrhea, and then you also have that fear of cancer. Yes. Um, how are you feeling now? Well, you know, I, I guess my thoughts are that if I don't have to take so much medication, you know, that would make me feel better. Too many pills, you know, I just feel like I shouldn't be taking so much medication. But obviously we do have to do something about the blood sugar. Tell me what you know about the consequences of having high blood sugars that are untreated. Well, I know, you know, in reading on the internet and doing my research, certainly could end up blind or on dialysis and I know some people have even lost limbs. That's really scary to me. I don't want that either. So on the one hand there are some things that really scare you about having diabetes that's uncontrolled um, and on the other hand uh, it's been difficult for you. I know we've talked in the past about working on controlling your your diet and, and looking at your weight. So where does that leave you at this point? Well, I guess if I don't want to take more pills, I have to give up some of my sweets, my cookies, and my potato chips. So those types of sweets and crunchy stuff and salty stuff is, uh, is pretty important to you. Yeah, I'm a snacker, unfortunately. Um, and it's always been hard. That was my downfall. Every time I've tried a diet before, giving up the carbs was just so hard for me. So uh, some of the problems that you've had in the past, you've, you've had some failures. You've, you've tried something. Tell me, tell me a little bit more about some of the things that you've tried already. Well, you know, I've, I've tried Atkins in the past, and it actually worked for me for a little while once I got used to it. But then I, I just felt sluggish, like I had no energy, and, and even kind of felt depressed. So you felt um, fatigued and somewhat depressed uh, mm -hmm. while you were on the Atkins diet. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something I hear not uh, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, pretty, it's pretty often. Um, I think that if, if it's okay, uh, we could talk about that for a minute, if that's okay. Sure, I'd like that. So carbohydrates actually do make us feel better. They actually raise something called serotonin. No wonder I like them so much. <laughs> right. Have you uh, heard of serotonin? Yes, I have. Yeah, it's kind of a happy hormone. Mm -hmm. yeah. So as we do eat simple carbohydrates in particular, it does raise our, our serotonin levels so we actually do feel better. And so some people on the Atkins diet actually do feel depressed and fatigued because their, their serotonin levels aren't as high. Um, but that can be a dangerous uh, cycle because as we raise our blood sugar, you know, we feel good. If it's, it's, if it's a simple sugar though, blood sugar goes up, insulin goes up, we tend to crash, we tend to eat more, which tends to do the cycle of, of carbohydrate cravings. Oh, that so that's why mm. I crave that bag right. of potato chips. Right, I think that, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So, um, what sort of things can you think about that could maybe calm those blood sugar swings down? Well, I, I guess I, I don't know enough about nutrition and diet. I guess I need more information. You know, food has always been a kind of a comfort thing for me. My family gets together, we have big meals, we eat around the holidays. So, you know, it's it's hard when you give up those things that you really love to stay focused. So I guess I need more information. Sounds like there's um, a lot of emotional investment for you and your family mm -hmm. around food. Um, that, that can make things more difficult and that those may be some barriers that we need to talk about. Um, if it's okay, would it be all right if we talked a little bit more about some of the other low-carb diets that are out there? Sure. Um, what do you know about low-carb diets? Can you, do you know of any that come to mind? Well, I think I've heard about South Beach and, um, um, of course, Adkins that we mentioned. Um, are there others? Th there are. There's a couple out there, uh, one called uh, Protein Power. Um, but uh, a lot of my patients have had a lot of luck with South Beach diet. Oh, Would it be all right okay. if we talked about sure. that? Sure. I'd like that. Well, early on in the South Beach, the first two weeks is called Phase 1, and that's a very low-carb um, uh, time. Mm -hmm. uh, but during that time, carbohydrate cravings, people tell me, typically really, really calm down. But even in that first phase in South Beach, you can have, again, healthy salads and healthy carbohydrates. Um, then you kind of build on that. And even in level two, there are some actually healthy cookie recipes. Oh, wow, that's exciting. So in a limited state, we may be able to give you some of your cookies back. Okay. How does that sound? Um, I just might can try this. So uh, on a scale of zero to 10, 10 being um, really ready to make a change, zero being really not ready at all. Where do you think you are at this point? Well, you know, I, I think I'm a nine. I think, uh, you know, I really don't want to take the medication. I'm afraid of cancer and other side effects from too many meds. I've got to do something about the blood sugar spikes. And what you're telling me about South Beach sounds like maybe I can do that. That sounds like you're fairly ready to do something. That's good. Um, how do you think we'll deal with some of these carbohydrate cravings? Wow. Well, I guess I need a support group. I need, you know, somebody I can turn to when I'm having a tough day. And also more information about the snacks I can have that will make me healthier. Right. Okay. So one of the great things about South Beach is, and I think it's for... Seven ninety nine a month or something like that. You can get tied in and have your own registered dietitian that you have regular appointments with. That would be awesome. Yeah, and they can help you through recipes and um, and also give you some strategies on the carbohydrate cravings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, does that make sense? Sounds like a plan. I really am excited about this as a possibility. Good. Well, you're, you're obviously a very um, inquisitive and intelligent lady, and I think you'll have good success with this. The other thing that we can offer is we do have a weight management support group here at the practice oh. that meets on a weekly basis, and I think quite a few of those folks are also doing the, the South Beach. So 
having some of that social facilitation may help as well. Is that something you yes. think you might be interested in? Yes, I think that would be great. Ms. Jones, you had said that uh, maybe your confidence level wasn't too great because of some of the failures and kind of stop starts that you'd had in the past. Um, so if I can use another one of those scales on a, on a confidence, and zero being no confidence at all that you can do this, or ten being very confident that you can do this, where do you think you are in terms of? Seven, maybe even an eight that this will work for me this time. I'm feeling better. Tell me more about why a seven or an eight and not a four or a five. The support groups sound great. The the website with the the diet and the recipes and um, all of the things to support me in doing this. And if the South Beach diet is going to help me with my carb cravings, this might work. Good. So it sounds like we have a plan. If it's okay, I'll uh, again give you this information sheet that has the website information and uh, costs and that sort of thing. We'll give you the information on the uh, weight management support group. Um, and there's even some information on exercise there, if that's something that you're interested in at some point. Um, and if it's okay, we'll uh, see you back in two or three weeks. Is there a day, Ms. Jones, that would be best for you to start this diet? Well, um, I need a little time to uh, buy the right foods and read up on the, the diet and information and the recipes. Maybe Monday would be good. So Monday. Very good. Sounds like we have a plan. Right. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you for your time, and we'll see you in several weeks. Okay.